Hey everyone, welcome to the new tutorial and today we're going to talk about show protection, console locking and the other options that we've added in 1922 in the Magic Q Beta 1922. So if you're using the Magic Q after 1922, anywhere uh, later versions, then this feature is already available. And just a little warning, if you use whatever I'm going to show you now, you save the show file and try to load it in the older versions, it will not work. So again, this is a little pre-warning and yeah. So again, today we're going to talk about protecting your show file, something you've worked on and you don't want other people to dab in, copy or, or uh, remove something or modify and call it as their own one. And also I'm going to show you how to use the console if you're using, for example, the show file if you're using in a multi-console environment where you have two, three, four consoles connected together in the same network, whether it's the festival or whether it's the installation or it's, it might be a gig. So where you could actually have a different users and you could actually log in to your user from the different machine and the other users will not be able to log in under your credentials. And without further ado, let me show you how to work with that. So what I'm talking about is the new options that added for the users. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is where you can find it. So if you go to the setup window, then you go to the view system. There is an option here called view users. In the view users, in each show file, you can have up to 10 different users, meaning those users will have access to this show file or to the show file linked or like shared across multiple consoles, but only the those 10 users or at least the 10 different access levels will be able to access the show file and use it. So, and this information is stored inside of the show file. So that means any settings you do here will be only related to this particular show file. In a different show file, you'll have to do it differently. So, okay, I open the view users and you see I have 10 users and I will show you how to add new users and give them the properties that I wanted to discuss in this tutorial. So let's say in the first user, I'm going to call it LD and I typed in LD, press enter, and it comes here as a name as LD. Let's say for the password, I can type in, let's say one, two, three, four, press return. And the type of the user I will set as a super user. They, there's always needs to be at least one super user. So that will have access to everything, show file loading, profile profiles, uh, etc etc because any users below super user will have different level of access that means they're going to have certain limitations so in my case the only thing i need to change here also is this is this a start user i double click and we've added an option saying yes unlocked in and yes locked what it means is when i restart the show file do i want the cons the show file to be locked Yes, I want it to be locked. You say yes, locked. So another option is the load settings, meaning when you're loading the show file, would you like the, 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 the magic you also load all the settings as you had on the console when you program the show file? Because in, uh, in the, normally they're not loaded and they're using the console settings. So in my case, I'm just going to ignore it. So the next user I'm going to call operator. So I can double click and type operator. That's just example. I typed in and as a password, I'll type in, let's say the word and I'll say, please enter. And a type I will open as, a, as an operator. So operator will have its own limits. And I'm going to say the user, start user, I'm not going to change anything here anymore. So after that, you go to the view settings. You change your user using encoder C. You change to LD and I type in one, two, three, four, enter. As soon as I do this, now the user options are active. 
So what I do now is I save my show file. So I'll press save show and I press return because I already have the show, show file and I want to update it. So now let's say I'm working with this console. Another user comes in and says, can I use the console? I'll be like, absolutely fine, but you can't use as me. I already created your own um, uh, operator and I call it operator. So all you do is you click here and you say operator and you type here, please enter. And now the operator settings are on. As you can see, these options disappear. So you can't load a new show file. You can't, uh, you can't load, you can't start a new show file. You can't load the settings. So you are limited with the functions that are allowed for an operator. So that means you can start operating and then when he finishes, you can always go in, go back, type in one, two, three, four, enter. And now you have all the settings back as you expect. So the show file has been saved. Yeah, you can see the operators here. Let me close that show file. So I'll press new show. Yes, start. So I have the new show file. Let's say the console is there, it loaded and I decided to load, or let's say someone decided to load your show file. They'll go to setup, load show, they'll find the show file here. It's called password test SHW, enter, and it tells you, hey, here's the show file. However, you need to type in the, the login information to either of the users. So let's say I don't know it. So I'll say, okay, let's try this and I type in something else, I press return and the console says, no, incorrect password, show is not loaded. So that means the user will not have access to the show file. That's simple as, as it is. So that means if you want to have access, you need to know the password. So that means if you go now to the setup, load show, password, and brings you the question, let's say I told the, the user, hey, you can use my show file, but you have to use it as an operator. So you give him the password, he goes to the operator, he types in, please, press enter, and there you go. It's loaded, so he can continue working with that. However, he won't be able to uh, load the show file, he won't be able to, uh, to start a new show file, and I, I, there are extra options as well. I think you can't uh, delete the patch, and there's certain uh, limitations you have as an operator compared to the super user. So this is how it works. So up until 1922, the, there were only two ways of locking your show file. To lock the show, uh, to lock the console, sorry, you have to either use control and then you press uh, uh, option A, the encoder A, to lock the console, or you would have to hold left, down, right, and click on up to be able to, to switch on the lock screen option. However, in the environment, let's say it's an exhibition environment or the, the gig or anywhere where there are a lot of people in the booth and some people can start messing around with your show file, it was quite dangerous to leave the console, especially if they knew the, the tricks how to open the, the console. From now on, from 1922, you actually be more safe. You can lock the console now. So let's say if I'm going to control A, so the console is locked. Now, if I click anywhere, let's say here, it's going to say, hey, what would you like to do? You can unlock it as a LD unlock as an operator or you continue locking. So if you don't know the password, you won't be able to use the console full stop. And this, you can't just restart the console and bypass it. You actually have to uh, get in touch. If it's if it's the console, you have to get in touch with, uh, with the CAMSYS or one of our dealers. We will be able to support from there. But this is made so people won't be clever and just reset the console and have access to your console or your show file. This is actually to protect your show file and protect the console so no one will be able to play with that. So I would always advise you to use this function as long as you're not planning to use the show file in the, uh, in the software version below or before 1922. So if you are, then you have to unlock the console first, the show file, and remove the users. Or at least go to the user 
and remove this user to be no. Okay, if you want to completely remove, you don't use the remove, you have to double click here, make the blank password, blank name, and disable the user. Same things with the operator. and disable it as well. After that, you go to the settings, press save show file, return, yes. So now, if you start a new show file, and then you go back and you try to load show file, it will load in without any problems. Again, it's very important to know that this function is working from 1922 beta onwards. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for joining today. Please subscribe to my channel, press like, and ask the questions if you have any. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.